Even if you are a little bit new to aerial dance, today I'm going to tell you how you can also make beautiful aerial photos. This is my favorite one, but I can still see. This is how I know what I need to work on. Hi Aerial fam, it's Eunice. Welcome back to Aerial Practice. I'm going to give myself an extra week to work on the dance flow from the last episode. So today I thought I can share with you something fun. And it's also something that really helped me to power my progress, especially at the beginning. I just think back the first moment that I had my home reg, I really forgot everything that I learned in class and had no idea what to do. So then I found this picture from the studio that I used to go to and it looked like that's an easy pose that I should be able to do it. And the result, I look nothing like what I thought I was doing. And at that point, I was like, this is way too hard. Then I thought, well, good things take time. Let's start an Instagram account. And that's why it was aerial practice before and now I switched to my personal brand. And I'm going to just share my progress there. Let's give it three months. Try really, really hard to record my progress, post my progress, and then to see what are the differences. I'm gonna let you know, you're going to say, you know, I'm not comfortable with where I'm at today. I suck, I don't want to share it out. I felt exactly the same and I really hated how embarrassing I was in all those videos and pictures that I've posted before. But because I started doing that at the beginning, I started to feel confident around the hammock, using it as an extension of my body, and just feel comfortable about recording my progress. So in today's video, you're going to hear how you can build up your confidence to take aerial photos, even if you're not that flexible yet or have aerial strength. We're gonna focus on really basic pose that you can do with the hammock. I still remember the first time when we tried to take aerial photos. We didn't have our rig back then. So I had to rent a small studio and I remember it was kind of like an Airbnb where you put in a key code to go into a private room. It's not very safe to go on your own. So I asked my boyfriend to come. It was very new and I, know, I didn't know what to do. So. I googled some pictures on Pinterest, makes a mood board, and I wanted to do them all, and a lot of them are harder than I expected because I didn't know better then. Most of them, they, especially the one that looks okay, you can't really see my face because my face at the time was more like, oh, it hurts. One second holding there and then asking my boyfriend to be like, please take the picture now and then get me out. That's why today we're making this video. So you can see what I would do now if I were a beginner and want to feel comfortable at my level. Taking photos that are suitable for my level and have fun with it. So Rebecca asked me before what's my routine. So I don't really like putting on a lot of makeup, but just a little bit to outline my features so it doesn't... <laughs> I started using this foundation at the 50th video, I believe. And now we are at 140. And you can see I'm halfway through the bottle. So this really shows how much work we have done on YouTube so far. Now the makeup is done. I don't really do much with my hair. Usually I just like to um, have it out of my face so it will look really nice in the picture. I'm gonna try to leave it down today. Now let me show you the outfit that I'm thinking for today. I feel like there's a common theme of what aerialists wear for photo shoots. So today I picked these three to show you how they work. If you find other outfits more suitable for aerial dance, please do share with us in the comment below. The 
easiest thing to accent your line is to simplify your background. Move what you can out of the picture. If I set my camera from this angle, it is not going to be the best, but I'm going to do what I can. Now, the lighting is not as harsh. Just taking some small efforts to show the results that we work really hard for. Always make sure you're properly warm up before starting your aerial photo shoot. I like to tell myself there's nothing to be afraid of because I'm only going to do what I'm comfortable doing in the air today. And take anything that you need to calm your mind and feel very, very safe. While I'm playing around, my cameraman Wally is already taking some shots. Starting simple, it's going to help you to work on one skill at a time. This is the time to make friends with the hammock and the camera, so they will be gentle to you. And you're going to look amazing. I took out this bodysuit because sometimes it is just nice to see some skin, especially on the summery days, and I know you feel it too. But we all know that it's not so nice to wrap around the legs without wearing pants. Even though I don't plan on doing much area poses with this outfit today, I added the legs warmers to give some characters to this look. Taking this look to the next level. This is one of my first looks on area practice. And I love how wavy these pants are and they don't lose their shape when I move. My waist is completely protected I just feel really comfortable moving around with it. I'm setting my phone up in video mode using the back camera because the quality is better and then I'm gonna put it on the side so I can slowly spin on the hammock while I'm filming this and then I'm gonna take some screenshot from this video and then I'm gonna show you what that looks like. This is my method to give feedback to myself. Wish just so much that I would lean back a little bit more so you can see more of my line. But most of you I know that prefer tights and may not be working with a swivel. So I'm gonna... When you go upside down and come back up, go super, super slow. This way you won't feel dizzy and you can stay a little longer. Notice that Wally is trying a different angle. Because when the foot is the focus, this is what I look like. Here's another bad example. It looks like I only have one arm and one leg. So let's try something else. I'm bending my leg in the back so the camera can see it. You can see my arms are still a bit weird. Extending my arms and relax them at the same time. Now it looks much better, right? When you see your first set of pictures, you're gonna be like, oh, why did I do that? Oh my God, my face and the lighting and all that. 
but don't think about all that stuff. You can see your progress now and you have recorded it and you know now what you need to do next to be better. And that's how I improve and that's what I want to share with you today. But I'm going to challenge you is to post a progress picture of yourself. You can pick one of the posts that I did, add something that you feel completely comfortable doing that you want to share with the Arrow fam. Let me know if you want to hear more how I process these photo shoot. What do I do to make my face in a certain way when I'm upside down? All these little things. Just let me know in the comment below and we can chat in the later videos. I'm gonna go back to work on the sail away dance flow to share with you in the next tutorial.